even though it may seem difficult or even impossible to feel hope or that you're loved, please hold on and know that you are loved and things will get better. Welcome to the Serve Love Lift podcast. I'm Tiffany Garvin. Years ago on a quiet beach in Hawaii, I felt the weight of the pain and struggles we all face in this world and how much we need each other. Soon after, this movement was born to serve, love, and lift. I believe that we are meant to serve the world with our unique gifts, love ourselves and others, and lift each other up to live with joy. This podcast is here to help you heal your heart and your life and empower you on your path to becoming the best version of yourself. I invite you to listen carefully and jot down notes that come to mind, whether they come from me or from your own heart. Then share this episode with three people who you feel could use it today. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get going. Chesley Christ. Naomi Judd, and Twitch. What do these three people have in common? Their hearts failed them. Whatever series of challenges, wounds, and perceptions that built up about their lives and led these good people to such tragic ends we may never fully know. But what can we learn from them? How can we honor their beauty and their pain? First of all, if you're feeling hopeless or alone or having any thoughts about harming yourself, please get help now. Reach out to a trusted family member, friend, or crisis hotline like 988 or even 911. Even though it may seem difficult or even impossible to feel hope, or that you're loved, please hold on and know that you are loved and things will get better. This is not an easy topic for me, but it feels so important to address. Second, no one is immune to emotional pain. Everyone has a story that could make you cry, even those whose lives look perfect. Past trauma, prolonged stress, recent tragedy or loss, and persistent negativity can build up and suddenly become overwhelming. Heartache and tragedy are no respecter of persons. Third, learn the warning signs and be aware. There are many signs, but here are a few. Withdrawing from friends, family, or community. Dramatic mood swings. Impulsive or reckless behavior. Giving away belongings, tying up loose ends, or saying goodbye to friends and family. Also, Pay attention to your impressions and inner voice that say something's off. Don't be afraid to ask someone if they're okay. Tell your friends and loved ones often that you love and appreciate them. Call or text someone when you think of them out of the blue. The world is a battleground. And we need to watch out for all our brothers and sisters. I know people who have taken their own life. All I could think about was how sad or hopeless they must have felt. I wondered what were all the factors that caused their hearts to fail them and wished that they could have said something or reached out for help. Each time I hear of this type of tragedy, I crave to understand how 
it could have been prevented? How could we have saved them from their depth of hurt and ultimate decision? I don't have all the answers. I'm not a professional in this space, but my heart hurts so badly. For each person who has felt like there was no other way out of their pain. So I have to say something. I have to try. Maybe if someone listening right now is headed down that path, you'll feel like you can find your way back to solid ground. Maybe someone listening will follow through on impressions you've been having and take action for someone you're concerned about. I just have to believe that something good will come from this conversation. Let's take a quick break. While there are a million reasons we can find ourselves feeling despair, a constant effort for self-care is always a good idea. You know my love for the amazing essential oils and wellness products from doTERRA. There are several supplements and products that are uplifting and supportive to our emotional health. One of my favorites is doTERRA's Hope Oil, the uplifting blend. Not only is it a beautiful and uplifting aroma, but a portion of its purchase goes to fight human trafficking and victimization. You can learn more about doTERRA and their world-class products at www.tiffanygarvin.com wellness. Come talk to me and we can find your self-care tools. In addition to the right external support and helpful self-care products, I want to offer my healing techniques as a powerful complement to your emotional wellness efforts. Grab one of your favorite essential oils and let's start with emotions. First, I want you to know that as real as your emotions feel in heavy moments, they don't always communicate the truth. Perhaps it's in how we interpret them. Perhaps it's that they're speaking from our wounds and not our wisdom. Either way, be cautious and thoughtful in how much weight you give your feelings. With that, let's release any burdensome emotions you're feeling right now. Betrayal, loneliness, fear, hopelessness. Notice how intense they are. Listen for a message and release and breathe. Release and breathe again. Release and breathe one more time. Repeat this as much as you need to ease the hurt. Pause this recording if you want to keep going. When you're ready, let's tackle some of those negative thoughts. Do ideas ever creep into your mind like, I'm worthless, or everyone would be better off without me, or this is all just too hard? If you do, listen to me. They are not true. They may feel true or seem true, but don't believe them. Do you remember in episode 7 where we gave stop, drop, and roll a new life? Here's a reminder. Stop the negative, destructive thought as soon as it enters your mind. Drop it with release to take the intensity and realness out of it. Then roll it into a new positive thought and strengthen it so your subconscious pays attention 
to the kind of thinking you want to have happening. Let's practice. Do you have or have you recently had a thought that's trying to pull you down? All right, catch it so it doesn't run free and think release and breathe. It's just a vibration floating around that you can diffuse. Release again and breathe. Remember, even though it seems true, at its root, it's actually lying to you. Last time, release and take a deep breath. Now, roll it into something positive, like, I'm more valuable than I can really understand. Or, I'm here for a reason. Or, I can and will get through this. Use your intention to strengthen your statement so that your mind and heart can begin believing it. Think your statement and breathe. I'm more valuable than I can really understand. Think it again and breathe. I'm here for a reason. Repeat your statement one more time and breathe. I can and will get through this. Sometimes your mind and heart are just waiting for you to take charge and direct your emotions and internal dialogues. Let's go one step deeper before we move on. Hang in there with me. I know this might be some heavy lifting, but I believe in you. There may be an anxious or sick feeling surfacing as you're healing these thoughts and emotions. It's likely a deeper belief or subconscious paradigm that's left over from a previous difficult experience or trauma. It's just asking for help. To answer it, acknowledge the intensity of the resistance. Listen for a message of comfort, instruction, or encouragement. And think the word restore and take a deep breath. Stay focused and clear. Think restore again and breathe. You're doing great. Restore one more time and breathe. Remember, you can pause this at any point to take more time to heal these wounds that are talking to you. They just want to heal. And you've got the tools to help them. Go back and walk through these techniques again as many times as you need to ease all the noise preventing you from feeling peace, confidence, and even joy. You're amazing. Thanks for hanging in there with me. You are so powerful. The world is crazy and we need each other and a toolbox filled with powerful supports to help us stay strong and do the good we're meant to do. Use your essential oils and these techniques many times during the day to find needed relief as well as strength so you can live life on your terms with meaning and success. You 
are loved. You are infinitely valuable. And you have a unique and beautiful mission to fulfill in your life. Thank you for being with me. Remember to share this episode with three people who you feel could use it today. Don't want to wait for next week for new insights and wisdom? Go to www.tiffanygarvin.com slash emotional healing for a free guide to help you begin healing the emotional wounds that are holding you back. Again, the link is tiffanygarvin.com slash emotional healing. It will be in the show notes as well. I believe in you. See you next week.